In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can integrate sine of the square root of x. So we've got our integral there, and we're doing this with respect to x. So the first step is we need to think of some sort of substitution that's going to make things a bit easier. And the problem we've got here is we're looking at the square root of x, which is a bit of a nuisance. So what we're going to do is we're going to make things a lot easier and just say, let u equal the square root of x. So we're going to be thinking about sine u instead of the square root of x. But the problem is we've also got that dx there. So we have to come up with something that we can replace dx with that has got a du in it. The way we do this is we find the derivative of u. So let's start by finding that derivative. And so the derivative of the square root of x is 1 over 2 root x. If you're not sure on how to do that, I'll put a link in the description to a video that I've made that explains that. You're really thinking about x to the power of a half and using your normal differentiation rules, and that will work. What you should also spot is that root x is what we've already said u equals. So we can replace root x with u. So in fact, our derivative is 1 over 2u. We want to find dx so that we can replace it. So we rearrange this and we can get that dx equals 2u du. So we've now got everything we need to do our substitution. So we can replace this here with u and we can replace this dx with our expression for dx. I'm just going to do that on this line. So in fact, our integral is becoming this integration here. And of course, we've got that 2 there, so we can simply just take that outside. So we've now got something that's a bit nicer to integrate. But the problem is we've now got two things that are being multiplied together. And when we have two things multiplied together, we should be thinking about integration by parts. And integration by parts has this formula that the integral of u dv, where one of these functions is going to be u, and one of these functions is going to be dv, is equal to the product u times v minus the integral of v du. And we want to choose u and v, so we've got to pick one of these to be u, pick one of these to be dv. We want to choose it in such a way that it makes this integration as easy as possible. So really we're thinking about what is the simplest du that we could have. And it turns out if you put u equal to u, you'll end up with a very nice du. So we're going to let u equal u, and we're going to put dv equal to sine u. And so we're going to have to find the derivative here to get du, and we're going to have to integrate both sides to get v. And so we just do that here. So obviously the derivative of u is simply du, and when we integrate sine u, we get minus the cosine of u. So we can take all of these four things here and substitute all the way through, just replacing each thing, and we now get this. So our integration is in fact becoming this here. All I've done is replace each of these things with the corresponding values. And so we now got this thing here. And what we have to worry about now is our integral of cos u. And of course, this is simply just going to be sine. The integral of cosine is sine. We add the constant of integration. Nothing changed here, so that's copied down directly. And we've still got our factor of 2 out there. We also have to think about the fact that we don't really care about u. That's not what the point of the question was. So we have to look back right to the very, very beginning when we said that u equals the square root of x. So we can just simply do that um, replacement here. So we're replacing u with the square root of x. And we've now got our final answer. And that is how you find the integral of sine of the square root of x. Hope this video was helpful to you. And thank you very much for watching.